Hi guys, so it's the end of September and you all know what that means. It's time for the September favorites and uh, yeah, let's jump right in, shall we? And I'm going to start with nails and I have two nail polishes that actually look quite similar, at least the, the base color is similar and it's these two. The first one is the Seate uh, paint pot in uh, oil slick. I had to, f I almost forgot the name for a while there. And it looks like this, and it's like a really gorgeous duochrome with like petrol, gold, and green color. I actually got this from my friend because she didn't like it, and I love it. I wanted to buy this color forever. It is a dupe for, is it uh, Chanel's Peridot or uh, OPI's Just Butter the Lizard. So I love, love, love this color and it has such a great stain power. This is my first nail polish from Ciate and I think it's great. I highly recommend it. It's a perfect autumn color. The other one is also an autumn color that wore beautifully on the nails. And it's the China Glaze Argo, and this is from the Capital Colors collection, the Hunger Games collection. And I got this when it was on sale on Beauty Bay, now this summer. And I thought, yeah, it's summer, but I'm, I need some good uh, autumn colors. And this is just a gorgeous green color. So I've, I really love those two. Then I think I'm going to go on with face. I'm just pulling my face things out so I have them here. The first one I've really been loving is the L'Oreal Nude Magic CC Cream Anti-Redness. Anti Anti-greenness I was going to say but anti-redness. And I really enjoy this. Uh, it works perfectly on me. The shade is also very good on me. I wanted to try BB Cream for a long time but I got this in my August glossy box and yeah I'm so happy that I got it so yeah I highly recommend this if you suffer from redness on the face in the face on the face yeah whatever you know what I mean so I highly recommend that and then I have another foundation I've been a little bit foundation crazy this month and this is the Maybelline Fit Me anti shine stick this just came out in Sweden a few weeks ago. I think I bought them just the same week that it came out. I wanted to try them for a long time because I also have uh, a lot of shine in my face and I want to dull that down. I'm in the color 130 Buff Beige or Praline. Looks like that, you can see it. And this is just a stick foundation and I think it wears really well. It covers my redness beautifully as well. I still use a powder over it because I like that really matte finish because uh, that's I think why I haven't liked a lot of foundations because I didn't use powder with them back then but yeah I really enjoy using this foundation as well. Another thing that I've been really loving is my Maybelline Instant Age, Age Rewind Erase Dark Circles Treatment Concealer and this is in the color light. My friend got me this when she was in Omaha in the beginning, middle of August. And I wanted to try this concealer forever. And it's really good for under eye circle because it really brightens up without looking really scary bright. Uh, I wouldn't use it for like spot concealing or anything like that because it's too bright for that. It can highlight it instead. But for under eyes, I think it is really, really good. And since we have had a really explosion of autumn here in my part of Sweden at least, I've been really liking uh, wearing a little more darker uh, cheeks, darker blush. So I've been really sporting a lot the Wet n Wild Mellow Wine blush. This is from the color icon. And this is, the Wet n Wild blushes are so crazy pigmented. I just have to like tap my brush tiny tiny and that like really take off the excess because otherwise this blush can make you look like a clown face. 
so this is not for the beginners of blush because it's too pigmented, in my opinion at least. That was face. Uh, well, we can take face and body because I have a hand cream here that I've also been loving a lot and it's the Trend Hand Repair hand cream. This is a sample size I got in a glossy box like a few months back. It smells really good, it makes the hands really soft. So yeah, I've been really enjoying this one. And then, well, we can take eyes. I have two MAC eyeshadows here that I've been really loving. I have them in my like everyday quad. And the first one is Patina. I'm gonna pick it, take it out of here so I can show you a little bit better. This is Patina. And I really enjoy this eyeshadow. And this is like a light taupe be brown with like a golden pearl. It doesn't show up that much on the skin. There, that is a swatch. I don't know if you can see it, but that is a swatch right there. But it's perfect together with a satin taupe in the crease. So that is patina and that is satin taupe. The other one I've been really, really enjoying a lot and it's a new color is the Max Sable eyeshadow. And this is a bit darker, as you can see. I will swatch that side here as well. So that is Sable and that is Patina. And this is... Well, I just love these colors. They, they blend really well. They're really soft. So, yeah. I got these two from the MAC Cosmetic Swedish website. That it's finally open here in Sweden. That is also a real... Uh, favorite of mine that we finally can buy the pro pants uh, even if we don't live in like Stockholm, Göteborg or Malmö uh, in Sweden because we haven't been able to do that and we had to buy them in, in pot form and then depot them and that's even more expensive and these I just love my eyeshadows I think you all know that by now so yeah the next thing I have is a mascara that I've been really, really loving. And this is the CoverGirl Clump, Clump Crusher in Water Resistant. And I love this. I love these types of brushes. Curved and like, yeah, rubbery brushes. They, they have like wonderful effects on my lashes. And yeah, so I really recommend this. If you in Sweden we, or in Europe in general we can't get a hold of CoverGirl but then we can have instead the Max Factor Clumpify I think it's called yeah it's a purple packaging instead it looks identical I think it actually is identical to CoverGirl's Clump, Clump Crusher but more expensive because in Europe and in Sweden these things are more expensive than in the US my next things. I have two eye things left and those are my Essence brow, uh, uh, Lash and Brow Gel Mascara. I love this. I bought this from a Polish website um, and I just think it's awesome. Now the brush doesn't, doesn't look really good because I've used it with my eyeshadow powder. But I have it on today and I just love how fixated my brows look. Not overly, like, unnaturally fixed, but yeah, this just makes them stay in place all day and still look natural, so I love it. The next thing I have here is a uh, oldie but a goodie, and this is my Isadora inner liner in Indian Black, and this is for my waterline, and it stays really good. You can see I have it for a long time, it's not that much left of the pen. But yeah, I really love that. I've been, I, I can't even remember why I stopped using uh, inner liner, like black eyeliner on my waterline. But yeah, I've started again and I love how it looks. Now I have two lips, two lip products left. And both of them my friend got me when she was in Omaha in August. And the first one is the CoverGirl Lipsti Lip Slicks Smoochies. And this is in Love You, hashtag Love You. 
they look like this. I love this. It gives a bit of color and it's really nice on the skin. It doesn't give a lot of color. You can see that is the color that it gives. But it's so soft on the skin. It stays on for a really long time on the lips and just makes them feel really soft. And the last one, the last item I have is a lipstick that she also got me. And this is the Maybelline Color Whispers. This is my third Color Whispers uh, lipstick and this is in Who Wore It Redder. And this is just like a pinkish color. You can see that. That is the color. I have used this in a tutorial that is going to be up very soon. So I really, really enjoy these and they just feel awesome on the lips. I, I love them. So yeah, those were my September beauty favorites. Um, I would really love to hear about what your favorites are. So if you have uh, filmed a video with your favorites, please uh, leave them as a video response down below. Or if you don't do videos or don't want to ma uh, make a video response, please comment down below and tell me what your favorites were. I would love to hear what they were. As I said, and as always, please comment, like and subscribe. And I'll see you in another video. Bye guys!